Hi everyone, Cheeky Tan here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be doing another Japanese taste test, so let's get started. I bought all of this stuff at Daiso. Some of these things I think I've had before, but I bought this stuff a while ago and then I did a couple of subscription boxes, Japanese subscription boxes. It doesn't matter anyway. Oh, sugar, this was on the move. I'm going to start with something that I see as potentially boring. And why did I buy it? I've got no answer. It's Kasugai Roasted Green Peas. But that doesn't mean they're necessarily bad. They could be exciting. A happy present from the earth. Thank you earth. Dry roasted peas. How good could they be? Let's find out. Okay, have a look. Yeah, peas. That's what you expected to see, isn't it? They feel nice and light. Oh, I can feel salt on them. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. They're actually pretty good. Mmm. They really do have a nice roasted taste to them and they're really super crispy and they have got salt in them as well. These are yummier than you think they're going to be. I thought this and I thought it was going to be boring. Mmm. These ones are such a surprise, really tasty. Because Sugai gummy candies, they're pineapple flavored. I've had a few different pineapple flavored gummy candies from Japan and they've all been pretty nice. I mean, there's no mistaking what you're gonna get in this bag. They're gonna be full of pineapple flavor and I do love Japanese gummy candies. They're super, super soft and super sweet usually. So let's hope these ones will be. Okay, what do they look like? Ooh. Oh, I can smell pineapple straight away. That's a great sign. Individually wrapped as you can see. Oh, how beautiful is that? It's glassy looking. Mmm, oh, far out. It's like you've been whacked in the face with a pineapple. Well, no, quiet, because that would, <laughs> that would actually hurt. Mmm, <laughs> oh, they're delicious. Really soft, really flavoursome. A little bit too sweet, but I don't mind them. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's like eating a little piece of sunshine. Really good. Mm. Next up, I've got a giant caplico, and I've had a caplico thing before. As you can see, it looks like an ice cream cone, like a cornetto. I think I have had the strawberry one. I've definitely had a vanilla one, or a I don't know. <laughs> but how beautiful is this? When I saw this in the bag, I'd actually forgotten that I bought it, and I panicked. I thought, I don't remember randomly buying an ice cream, putting it in a bag, and then stuffing it in the cupboard, so. <laughs> This is what it's supposed to look like inside. And easy to open. Have a look at this beauty. Oh, how cool is that? If you saw someone eating that, you'd just think they're having an ice cream. It's an interesting concept, isn't it? It smells absolutely beautiful. You can really smell the strawberry in it. Mm -hmm. The chocolate is really tasty. It's got a lovely strawberry flavor through it. As you can see, it's an aerated chocolate. It's a bit of a head spin, really, because it looks like an ice cream, but doesn't taste like an ice cream. It's just chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. But really yummy. And the cone is really crispy. And as you can see, there's chocolate, chocolate, like milk chocolate in the bottom part there. This one's a winner all up. The combination of the flavors is really nice with the chocolate, the strawberry, and then the vanilla cone, which is really crispy. Really cute concept, really delicious. Yeah, I'm having a good day today. Next up, I've got some onion rings, and I don't think these are from Japan. I got them from Daiso, but then I didn't really investigate it very much. I mean, that's not Japanese writing, that's Korean writing, I think. These are made in Korea, Seoul. Have a look in there. Oh. Oh, they're quite thin. How beautiful. Oh. Not as salty as I was hoping for. They've got an onion flavor in there, but I don't know, just not salty. You can see that's really smooth. What I want is for this thing to be smothered in salt. The flavor of the onions there, they're nice and crispy, but not salty enough. Oh no, I've had better onion rings. I think I'll stick to Funyuns, they're much better. Oh, a bit nothing. Time for beverage break. Today I have a Capilco soda and this is orange flavored. Mmm. Yum, 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 meow, meow. Pour it into a glass so you can see the color of it. Oh, it's a very subtle orange flavor. Oh, the color. <laughs> I don't know about the flavor yet. Cheers. Mmm. 
Oh, yum! That's good. Mm, it is. It's not really, really strong with flavor with orange, but it's nice because it doesn't taste too over the top artificial and ugh. You know, I love orange soda. I used to love it when I was a kid, but I rarely have it now because it's just so sickly sweet. Mmm. And it tastes like lemon. It's not lemon, is it? <gasps> see orange did I even see orange am I imagining that yeah no yeah oh, okay it says orange citrus flavor so I don't think it's strictly just orange and this is why it doesn't taste so strongly of orange <laughs> okay mm. so it's a combination of orange and of lemon it even tastes a little bit grapefruity but I could just be imagining that look I saw the orange dots and I just saw orange soda that's why it's not a very strong orange color <laughs> get this soda again for sure I would get this soda over other sodas I think it's nice and sparkly it's a really really refreshing drink yum Tomaguchi flavored sheets and these are plum flavored I don't know what a flavored plum sheet is it looks like just a flat sheet I really want to take that sticker off I know that's telling me what it is that way you can see the whole packaging you're welcome pickled plum sheet let's open it excuse the lawn mowing sounds outside comes in a little Ziploc bag. Have a look. Oh, whoa, no way. This looks like we, oh. That doesn't look very tantalizing, does it? It looks like I'm about to eat bits of cardboard. Oh, there's a smell. Yeah. It smells ancient. It smells like it's an antique candy from many years ago. And uh, someone's put it in this bag just for me. But don't judge a book by its cover. It might taste amazing. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Oh, it's quite strong. Oh, wow. It's hard to describe. It's a little bit sour and sweet and savory at the same time. It's a really bizarre combination. Well, I guess because it's pickled. Um, mm, oh, wow. You know what's weird though? I like the aftertaste of it because it sort of leaves a little bit of a almost salty sort of feeling taste in your mouth and that's weird because it's sweet. Is it something I'd get again? Probably not, but would I eat the rest of the bag? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm going back for more. I'm a little bit, do I like it, do I not? Mm. See, I like the finish on it. I don't like the start of it, but then it finishes nicely. It's got a weird pickly so, ooh, what's going on? And um, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Next up, I've got this amazing thing to try. I've got this because look at it. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? I mean, I hope it's not just chewing gum or something. Ooh, it's peach flavored. How cool. Beautiful to look at. I've got 40 centimeters of this stuff. Can I, how do you open this? Can't. Whoopsie, got it. <gasps> oh, wow. Let's pull this out in one big long lot to show you can't get it out. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a little bit torn. It looks like a belt, like a pink belt. Smells all right. Yeah, no, it's all right. Oh, no. You know what? I've just come to a conclusion, and that is that I don't think I really like peach-flavored candy. It tastes a little bit sickish you know it's like a milky sort of peach flavor it tastes a little bit gelatinous to me to, like <laughs> it's soft and it's fun but i don't really want to eat it i wouldn't get it again not like these gummy candies where i go yum i'd get those again but this no i mean i'd rather eat a plum sheet is that weird i really did think that this was going to be my favorite it was a, like in a big long packet and i thought yay that's gonna be so fun and amazing it's a little bit disappointing to me i just don't really like the flavor of it thank you so much for joining me today everyone i really do appreciate you watching and supporting my channel if you want to keep supporting it you know what to do give it the thumbs up all that sort of stuff have a fantastic week everyone i'll see you next time bye time for beverage break and today I have a how do you say it? Calpico. No, I